doctor, and here is my colleague also. The Lord has done great things for our brethren, and tonight we have Mrs. Anna Oko. Mrs. Anna has road traffic accident with pelvic fracture that left her working with these crutches. But the Lord God Almighty on Thursday delivered her. You will hear from her. You don't say when I come. See, see the day where they start. Before I enter the motor, driver tell me, the bus driver tell me, say, this stick, I no go carry, I go, I go throw away. Amen. <laughs> did you surprise me? I say, if you are throw away, we go call home me now. You say, you go throw away. Him. We go reach Bissani. If they carry people, people carry many of the motor door food. And now we first enter. The stick I got through where? I say, God, where are they go? I not go stick, go back. Not be even this stick, oh, the one when I they own a big one. So, I throw away the stick. Where we call each site, and why yard, where would they sleep? Night, it all fall. They call break. They say, yeah, I'm go back for small time. Motor door can go enter, go. And true, I get up. I walk out. And I small with pains. Because the accident is very tough. And they for granted, I may she pick me for road jamming. So this one, I can't see saying I play play. You get one tablet where doctor give me. Now five of them, and I they drink a dose. I carry only two dose. I not drink anyone. I call Biggie Waka. Day before yesterday, where our daddy talks, say, anywhere they pay you touch, make you be key Waka. Now Waka. I had a Waka. I Waka. Yes. I Waka. Yes. I freak my hand like this. Yes, you are free. Free like this. Salty copy, I say, key for my two ways. I say, I say, the, the board of Waka. Yes. Now Waka, that's yes. this place. Okay. Yes, yes. I can't go this place that they owe me before. I can't cross the, the bridge. I put the other leg. I put the other leg. I talk back again. I put this leg. I put this one. Now my son just come and leave me. He say, mommy, you don't work. I don't, I don't go. I find out for the place. I don't see him again. <laughs> Church, praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Put your hands together. This is beautiful. Go home and share with the people what God has done for you. Go and share what the Lord has done for you. Great, great, great. The next testimony. Praise the Lord. Brethren, Sister Faith Emmanuel has evidence. She has an evidence, the two children beside her, are to show that God can heal barren womb. And tonight you shall hear a testimony. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Faith Emmanuel Teidi. I'm from Okakagu for this street. I want to bless the name of the Lord for what he has done for me. It happened in the year 2014, I got married. After one year, we went to the hospital. No, before one year, we went to the hospital, they said we should go back. That after, when he reached one year, we should come back. So it got to one year, we went back to the hospital. Then an SAG was conducted and it was confirmed that my two fallopian tubes were blocked. So I was like, in fact, I don't know. We took the, the film to so many hospitals. In fact, some of the doctors that are, aware, that are aware of it, when they see us, they are surprised. So 
now it got to that time when GS came in 2016. The team was open heaven for Bayesa State. And I tagged it, open fallopian tube for me. And the Lord did it. That was on the 7th December, 2016. That same December, my brethren, it happened. Praise the Lord! And this is the result of the open heaven for Bayesa State. And this is my second child. I want to bless the name of the Lord. As many of you that are here and you are still waiting, trust God. The God that did it for me, when all hope was lost, he will do it for you in Jesus' name. He will do it for you. He will do it for you. Put your hands together. God is moving. The power is moving. Tap into that power. Amen. The next testimony. Praise the Lord. But our Itakwe blessing has been having recurrent pharyngitis. And uh, this has lasted for the past nine years. But in this program, the Lord God Almighty has given him a victory. Let's hear from him. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Orisakwe Blessing. By the grace of God, Christ has sealed me some years ago before now. I came to this program with a particular challenge. I was having a, a sore truth. And uh, because of it, I visited uh, um, our, there is our community hospital, Cottage Hospital, and the doctor diagnosed me and gave me some drugs. And uh, I was taking the drugs. After when I finished taking the drugs, the, um, the, so the, the pains uh, subsided. Then when I finished taking the drugs, the pains came up again. And then the saw appeared in one of the part of my, uh, of, of one of the part of the tongue, and it was so severe especially when I'm taking a uh, food. I will be so uncomfortable to the point that I wasn't happy. I, I will not be happy, but I will just manage to take the food. To cut the whole thing short, I came to this program, and then as the program continued, I just discovered that the pains are not there again. I discovered that I can eat food successfully, and the pains are no more there. I noticed that something has happened to me. And I said, I have to come out and share the testimony. Something so has happened to you. Praise it the Lord. is real. Mm -hmm. Put your hands together. The next testimony. Something is happening in the crowd. Something is happening in the crowd. Praise the Lord. Brethren, I present to you Sister Frances Blessing had had peptic ulcer disease for the past 18 years. But at the Calabar Global Crusade, something happened. You will hear from her. Brethren, praise the Lord. My name is Frances Blessing. By the grace of God, I'm saved. I'm from Emmanuel District, Okaka Group, Yenegua Region. By Elsa State, South South Region. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I want to testify of what God has done for me during the Calabar Crusade. I was having ulcer, so painful. Sometimes when the pain will come, I will not even know that it's ulcer. Many of our brethren, they are aware of it. When the pain comes, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but. I thank God. For 18 years, I've been suffering from this pain. But during the Calabar Crusade, a sister was testifying of what God did for her, and I key into it. And as I was believing God, I now feel a cool sensation through my system. And that was how the Lord healed me from 18 years also. Praise the Lord! Now I can fast by the grace of God. Initially, I cannot fast, but now God has delivered yes, me totally. You have Praise a brand the Lord. New, brand new intestines.
Amen. We have testimonies from online, and so let's listen. Yes, and indeed, God is doing great things online. We are receiving testimonies from those that God is thinking about indeed. And we have this one coming online. This person says, glory be to God. He said last month she was diagnosed of high BP, and this led to several complications. She couldn't walk. She couldn't use her hands. She was admitted to the hospital. She was later discharged because there was no improvement. But yesterday, according to her, she joined the crusade online. And the final amen is still as effective as it is. After the final amen, after the prayers of the man of God yesterday, she said she felt the touch of God. She was able to walk. She was able to use her hand freely. And then just to confirm, she did a test today and her BP is normal. This is coming from Taiwo, all the way from Abuja. Indeed, God is doing great things as Jesus has taught about Mercy Peter from UCH. As she had suffered uh, pains from her breast, she had a lump in her breast, but on the first day of the crusade, she got her miracle and was healed of the lump in the breast. Praise the Lord. Omalare Oladele also suffered pain in his back for a long time. But after the final amen, there is something about that final amen. The pain disappeared. And I am glad to tell you that even COVID-19 is still moving out of the way because our God is still working. And this is coming from Yehua Okore, who says that um, she's sending in her testimony from California. She, says, she said a day before the program was to start, her son was diagnosed to have COVID-19 showing all the symptoms and everything. And according to her, she said, oh, this sickness had come at the right time. And after connecting to the program online on the very first day, God touched her son. The boy went for another test, and it is confirmed that the COVID-19 is gone and gone forever. Before we hand over to the story of us here, we have these testimonies coming from Ejigbo and Okiafa from Lagos State. Lagos State coming up now live. Ejigbo District, Lagos, Nigeria. I want to share the testimony about myself, how God has delivered me from cough. Since February, I've been having this cough, it was very serious. And it, uh, it has been it has been disturbing all this way. I, I have sometimes when I'm coughing, I have to vomit. So, but it has been like one month now I'll be having this cough. But my grandma, she called my, she called um, doctor, she called people to help her. But people, they did help her and they, and they called doctor for me. I went to the hospital and they gave me injection. It was very painful. But it's but I was on drugs, so the cough was releasing. So I be praying unto it. Then I heard the crusade was coming. I be praying unto it. So the first day I I prayed, the thing was relieving me. The yesterday I vomited two times. Yesterday I came to the crusade again. I still prayed. Today, I prayed. When the pastor was preaching, I was coughing. So I was praying too. But I was praying about the cough, and as the final amen came, I was healed. No more cough again. The cough disappeared. No more cough again. Yes. Now I cannot cough again. I'm free from the, yes. from the second power. Amen. Put your hands I together. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Grace Omolola. I come from Okiafa Group, all the sort of Lagos. I want to testify what God has done in my life. Firstly, I thank God for the salvation of my soul. 
Secondly, on the 5th of February this year, I fell onto the Kawana Inhe. They grouped me, 232,000. I went to the bank to confirm, was it true it was true? They said, the, the boy that is stolen my money, his name is Kasim. But for the glory of God, February Global Crusade at Taraba, our daddy did not pray for us. I received my miracle on the head of this month. Something miraculous happened. I, I received a lot. I said, is this true? I ran to the bank to confirm. I said, it's like my money has back. They said, madam, are you sure? I said, that's why I want to confirm. They said, I should call my account number. I call my account number. They said, oh, this is wonderful. Ah, you are serving a living God. Which church are you going? I say, I'm going to give her life. Praise the living Jesus. Our Lord is good all the time. Indeed, it is a season of recovering all. For now, we we'll return to the state of Russia, bring you more testimonies later. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ. God is great. Recovery. The next testimony. Listen to the next testimony now. Praise the Lord. Brethren, I present to you Sister Elizabeth Obieni. She, had, she has had a one-year issue of left iliac fossa mass, and um, it had been there for that long. But she's here to testify what God has done for her tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Honestly, I'm very grateful to God because it's like this global crusade is for me. I've had a swollen at the left side of my lower abdomen since last year. And that thing has been there. Sometimes in the night, it becomes so big. And I've just been bothered about it. But yesterday, after the prayers, I checked and it was not there again. And then... I've been having this itching ear for a very long time that I can't even remember again. And sometimes I'll be hearing noise in that ear. But today, when the pastor was praying, I felt a shock in the ear. And after the prayers, I tried putting my hand to see if I could feel the pain I used to feel before. No, you can't. And the pain was no longer there, and I could not feel anything again. And then in the... Um, Ibadan Global Crusade too. God did something for me. Since 2018, this left part of my body has been as if it was dead. I don't used to feel anything. And sometimes in the night, I have to stay awake all through. But during the Ibadan Crusade, after the first day, I even forgot till the fifth day of the crusade. I was like, have you forgotten that you no longer wake up in the night to, to stay awake? And then I said, may God who have done all this for me, may his name alone be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. That's power. Power came upon you. Amen. The next testimony. Praise the Lord. The young girl here is Comfort Akuwe. She has been having, for some time now, itchy eyes, redness, with pain, what we call viral conjunctivitis, with tearing. But the Lord God Almighty, after the final amen, the Lord God Almighty has done something. She will testify. Praise the Lord. My name is Akuwe Comfort. I kept... I've come here to testify the goodness of God in my life. For some years now, I've been having itching on the eyes, and it became severe this year. And sometimes when I itch, tears will come out of the eye, and I'll be feeling severe pain. But when the, when the pastor told us to lay our hand where we have the problem, I laid my hand there, 
And after the last amen, I received my praise the Lord. There is something powerful about that last amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I have here with me Sister Ruth Mesoma Mbaduga. Sister Ruth Mesoma was diagnosed at Lagos University Children's Hospital to have intestinal, intestinal obstruction and was to be wheeled to the theater. Right from that point, she listened to the general superintendent's message online during the October Global Crusade. She has a testimony to share. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Mesoma. I'm from Imo State. I was diagnosed of intestinal obstruction. For two months, I couldn't pass out. My tummy was just getting larger. And during the October crusade, I was in the hospital. I was in pain. During, uh, I was trying to be wheeled in the theater, inside the theater. I got my healing. I was to be opened up and I feel pressed. I said that I need to use the toilets and praise the Lord. I was able to pass out. Praise the Lord. Then on December, on the December retreat, that is my second testimony. God opened my spiritual eyes after our pastor, our daddy in the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumui, anointed me in the dream during the Lagos Crusade. And I began to manifest the spirit, the, the fruit of the spirit. Praise the Lord! And spirit of boldness grips me that I do things that I, my normal self cannot do. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. God bless you. loud amen god bless you the next testimony praise the lord madam nebal habert had poor vision visual impairment and left knee osteoarthritis she has a testimony tonight praise the lord I don't know, 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 I don't I don't know, I don't know, I I don't know, I but the government has told us that we must not be afraid of gam. But the Arabic people have not been gamma. Men and women, all the way up to this day, men have been done. You know, my even a motor has arrived. I can drive as a man. So when men have been robbed, so now, oh, if you are not a Arabic, you are done. The Arabic people are done. Men have been robbed, but are done. All the guys who are a man of God. Nanya, please, I can't afford a ton of my mom. Bow as one at Gribar or Logal do mammy as one at Gribare, Benazba Gribalam too, while I'm a closey, but I can't back size. 
the more and exercise not exercise for not your brother are you take me not number one not an exercise the more you can attack them not come on them not come on them not come on by the grace of god but i look at you now look at me me feel him my donut my banana my donut to marry the anana praise the lord and let it be permanent in my life in Jesus name I pray we need an interpreter please an interpreter to interpret an interpreter the interpreter please to come and please uh, musicians wait a little please wait a little please praise the need, Lord we need an interpreter to interpret that testimony Praise and the Lord. Separate. The testimony Mama just shared was um, she had difficulty with sin and also with al- walking. She had um, left osteoarthritis with pains in the legs and the knees, but now you can see her. Mama can walk very well. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The man, the young man standing beside me is um, Bro Omiebi Tefeyon. By the grace of God, God has healed him of um, two years' history of severe osteoarthritis with resulting weakness of the lower part of the legs. He's been walking with walking stick, as you can see. But tonight is miraculously healed. You will hear his story. Praise the Lord. Today, I am the happiest person now. My friends invite me to this program. They are begging me, but I refuse. But today, I try to come to the program. When the man of God is praying, the last amen, I stand up. Without somebody helping me, your hands together. I can't stand. Without holding walking stick, I can't walk. But after the last amen, I, I stand walk. up. Walk. I begin walk. Walk, yes. I walk Go around. Ahead. Go ahead. I walk Go around. Ahead. Go ahead. Go I walk. Ahead. As I'm walking, it's just like normal. A strength coming to my system. A strength coming to my system. More I'm walking around, my joints is balancing. <laughs> Put your hands together. While I'm walking around. My waist is balancing. Without, without holding the walking stick. Without holding the walking stick. I walk from the, the S3 ending to this whole piece. Thank you very this much. is what God has done into my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is done. We can walk it. Testimony. Praise the Lord. 
you have here with us um, Odozi, God gifts. He had been suffering from depression. Depression and back pain. God touched him during the minister's conference and you will hear him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Bro God Gift Odozi and by the grace of God I'm saved. My testimony goes like this. For some months yes. now. It's happening over there. For some months now, I've been suffering from depression. Little things make me depressed, and my life has not been good. Today I will rise, and tomorrow then I will fall. Today I will go up. Today I will come down. And then my life has just been like this and like this. Little things make me depressed, and then some at times I will be crying, some at times I will be so sorrowful. But by the grace of God, during the minister's conference, God touched me. Praise the Lord. Our daddy in the Lord, he gave the message, and then after the final prayer, by the grace of God, I was touched. Yesterday, something happened that if it were other times, it would make me, I would cry a lot, and then I would be like, no, like it even came to myself, just like other times, a voice came and it told me, ah, bro, look at what happened now. Don't go to church today. Just wait after the church today, enter your bus and then go back home. And then they don't even understand you safe. And then if it were sometimes, it will talk and talk and then I will just give up. But by the grace of God, after the program, the minister's conference, the first day of the program, and after the GS prayer, yesterday it came, it occurred, and yes, it came like before. But by the grace of God, something inside of me just stirred me up and then I overcame. If it were other time, I would have gone down. But by the grace of God, God rescued and he saved me. Praise the Lord. The second, recently, it happened recently during this uh, preparation for this program or during the program. I, I couldn't stand for more than two or, let me say, I have three minutes. Without, if I stand for that kind of long time, it will be as if my body wants to tear into two. I will endure and I will try and I will try and I will try and I will try not to show it out to the people that are around me. But by the grace of God, during the first day of the same minister's conference, the Lord touched me. I entered the bus, I went home, I stood, and for about four times that I've entered that bus now, I have stood. I have uh, entered from the campground to this place and from this, to this, from this place to the campground and nothing. The Lord has delivered me. Praise the Lord. You are delivered. We go online now for testimonies from online. Yes, online the Lord is doing great things. And uh, we have a confirmation here that God is also thinking about the people even as far as the United Arab Emirates. And we have this one coming from Jacob. Jacob says that since Thursday he's been feeling feverish, serious cough aches in his chest, cutter, and he was not just well. According to him, he managed to stay through while the program was on yesterday. And while the choir was ministering, he said he received inspiration. He received encouragement that he will recover his health. And he stayed through till the prayer of the man of God. After the prayer of the man of God, he claimed his healing. He tried to sleep. He could not sleep all through the night till around 4 a.m. He kept on believing God. But after he eventually slept, he woke up around 10 a.m. this morning. And lo and behold, God indeed remembered him. All the symptoms of fever, cough, everything disappeared. And right now, he is perfectly whole. Praise the Lord. From the United Arab Emirates, we thank you all the way to Canada, where Modupe Rachel is testifying of how God healed her from several um, severe back pain for a few days before the crusade started. But after the prayer of the man of God on Friday, she's testifying that the pain has vanished and she's able to do what she couldn't do before. She's able to turn and to bend. Praise the Lord. And again, we have this one coming from Esther in Washington, USA who has been having pains in her right knee for the past few weeks. It hurts each time she tries to kneel to pray. But tonight, according to her, 
it's, it's an instantaneous miracle. The pain disappeared, and now she is fine. From the GS official Facebook, John Adikwe is testifying of how God healed him of severe and discomforting pains around his waist and tummy that commenced before the program started this evening. However, during the prayer of the man of God, after the final amen, there is something about the final amen. Indeed, all is. the pains, all the um, discomforting pain he has been experiencing, he said, gradually melted away. Now he is totally free. Now listen, this will shock you. This will shock you. It will interest you. Because Mr. Samson in there, from Burutu Town in Delta State, he's had this severe backache for about three years now. All medical solutions could not solve it. And he, he did not even come to the crusade, really. He only came there looking for his wife. And he came, he jammed his miracle. Because while the prayer of the man of God was going on, he just came to look for his wife, remember? On the first day like that, all his pains were gone. Now, let's take you to West Africa for a testimony all the way from Kumasi, Ghana, live. Praise the Lord. My name is Hannah from Kumasi South region. Very early this year, it was confirmed that I had ulcer. But by God's grace, at the Total Freedom Crusade, I had my healing. On the final day, after the final prayer of the man of God, all the severe pains I was having in my stomach was gone until today. I've not had any symptom. I, I can eat at the time I want. I can eat any food I want, any food that I couldn't eat before. By God's grace, I can eat now and I'm totally free. By God's grace, I'm free. Help me praise God. Praise the Lord. Indeed, we'll praise God with you and may you enjoy your freedom forever. We return now to the state of Asia. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. God is working. He's distributing all the miracles. Don't forget yesterday, a brother said, while God was distributing the blessings. So there is distribution. Get your own. We listen to another testimony. Praise the Lord. Mama Mila Amagulu is very excited tonight as God has healed her from the pain that lasted for three months after a shoulder dislocation that affected the entire left upper limb. Tonight, she has a testimony to share because she's totally free. Praise Allah! Ela <laughs> Put your hands together for mama. Okay, give us the interpretation. <laughs> give us the interpretation, please. The interpretation, please. Praise the God. I wonder her, she is here to be testify what the Lord God have done for her. What happened was that it was the Christmas day last year. And she was trying to come out from her room 
to do other works. As he was coming out, she fell out inside the room. She fell. As he was falling, falling down, she took this hand, knock a particular something in the room, and she fainted there. And it was somebody that saw how she fell and went inside there and bring her out, tried to... Uh, People were gathered and that they may make her to become alive. And since then, this hand was disturbing her. They have taken her out of so many areas to see that this hand is ill. But the hand was not ill. And as this program has come in, our sister here have invited her from the village that she to come for this program. And actually, she came. And by the grace of God, on the first day of this program, this program, the first night of this program, the, the prayer of a man of God on that very night, she raised up her hand, as our pastor said, I raise up your hand, and I toss one hand for your, the, the hand that is disturbing you. As he did that, after the prayer and final aim of the prayer, her hand was healed. This, her hand was healed. Yes, it this is, is healed. the healness that God has done for my mother. Amen. And this is the testimony she was giving to God. God bless you, man. Was raised, raised up your hand. It's raised okay, up. it's okay. I thank you. Praise God! The next testimony. The Lord. Yes, it is happening. Please, video people, capture what is happening. That wheelchair is up in the air. That wheelchair is up in the air. Yes. That wheelchair is up in the air. Power! Power! Power is on. Amen! The next testimony. Praise the Lord. Sister Agatha Gibson is a convert from the Divine Touch Crusade. By the grace of God, her baby was miraculously healed of a seven months history of crop. And then, from that crusade, she gave her life to Christ. She has a testimony to share. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Sister Agatha Gibson. I gave my life to, uh, uh, during the Divine Touch Crusade because my daughter here I gave back to her in White Garment Church, but something happened that this child, from the day we took her to, church, to the church, she started coughing and coughing. She coughed until seven I took her to so many places. From the one month of that cough, I keep on taking her to hospital. They, I will give her anything that they asked me to give to her, and the cough uh, did not want to go. So that thing bothered me. I went to so many churches where my neighbors and other people would take me. So there was a particular place I went. The, the prophet now told me that the baby will, the, the, uh, what he see is that the baby will die and um, some other of my baby will also die that I should pray and I should come and do some kind of uh, bring money and he was going to do some things for me. So the sister, one of uh, my sister, when I told her, she said, no, no, no that Christ uh, did it for us without uh, taking Kobum. And from there, I said, okay, Yes, no tell problem. us what, what God has done now. But something happened that uh, I was in my house the most one, one of the pastors was passing, and uh, he come and preached to me. From there, I told my yeah, pastor, say yes, I, I now told him my problem. Then he now told me, okay, don't worry, that God is going to do it. 
then he now uh, directed me to that, that divine touch crusade is coming up where I now took my baby to that divine touch uh, crusade. I believe that God will do it for me. And as you see now, my baby is not coughing. Before, she cannot stay like this. She will be coughing and coughing. The Lord hear her from that cough. I say, may the done. name of God be praised in Jesus' name. It is done. Name. And also, while we are preparing for this uh, uh, crusade, uh, one of the day was uh, killed a very big snake in, inside um, uh, one of my rooms. I say, God, who did it that it did not hurt my children, it did not hurt anybody? I say, may his name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Put your hands together. Amen. Okay, the musician, just give us one shot at it, and then uh, we shall round up. shall be rounding up now. God has been good. God has been great. God has been wonderful. And I want us to just lift up our hearts, lift up our hands, and worship the name of the Lord. Thank God for all his goodness. Thank God for all that God has done for us today. Thank God for anointing his servant. Thank God for unleashing his power on us. We have been loaded today and the miracles are just super abundant. And uh, tomorrow we shall continue this program. And it's going to be a wonderful...